Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English and this is your favorite YouTuber Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video we are going to explain, we are going to analyze a very famous essay titled What is Science? Written by the famous British author, British journalist and British essayist we can say George Orwell. The essay What is Science? is in the syllabus of first semester BSc General English under SCP syllabus under Bangalore University in the BU syllabus, in the Bangalore University syllabus. So now, let's begin the analysis of the essay, What is Science? A brief introduction. In the essay, What is Science? George Orwell examines the true meaning of science and its role in the society. He critiques the confusion between science as the exact discipline like physics and science as a method of rational thinking. He argues that scientific education should teach critical thinking, not just facts. He also stresses the importance of a balanced education that includes literature and history to develop ethical and culturally aware individuals. So now let's begin it. And I've given the notes also on screen. And this is the complete analysis of the whole essay. George Orwell begins the essay by referencing a letter in the Tribune from J. Stewart Cook suggesting that the general public should be scientifically educated, scientists should participate more in politics and administration. He agrees with the idea of public scientific education he points out a critical problem. What is a critical problem? The lack of clarity about what is science or what is truly science mean. This confusion affects how society approaches education, politics and even ethics. So there are two definitions of science. George Orwell highlights the two meanings of the term science first meaning is here exact sciences exact sciences refers to the fields like physics chemistry biology etc this is a very common or everyday understanding of science which brings out the images of laboratories test tubes and graphs this is a one meaning second meaning is here scientific method scientific method means a logical rational way of thinking that relies on evidence, observation, and skepticism. This definition is what scientists themselves often agree on. So in this manner, in this manner, George Orwell highlights the meaning of two meanings of the term science. One is the exact sciences and the another is, is here scientific method. Afterwards, George Orwell brings out the misconception about science, misconceptions. He challenges the assumptions that scientists are naturally more intelligent or capable of making better decisions about politics, morals, or philosophy. So George Orwell, he brings out the misconceptions about scientists, saying that society often equates being good at science with being wise in other areas. For example, People believe that a, physis a physicist would make a better political leader than a poet or lawyer. He also argues that there is no evidence to support this idea. Scientists are just as likely as others to hold biases or make mistakes in areas outside their expertise also. So these are the misconceptions about scientists according to uh, uh, according to according to whom? According to George Orwell. And further, what happens? Historical failures of scientists. To support his argument, George Orwell examines the behavior of scientists during the difficult historical periods. He would like to bring here the important facts which shows the historical failures of scientists and he refers to the important uh, timings, important historical periods. Number one, the Nazi Germany. Many German scientists supported the Nazi regime 
and worked on harmful projects like synthetic oil, jet planes, and the atomic bomb. Some even endorsed, endorsed the pseudo-scientific ideas like racial superiority. Comparatively, German writers, artists, and journalists, they were even more likely to resist or face persecution. Second uh, historical period is here, global examples, which shows the historical failures of scientists. Scientists from many countries, they worked on destructive technologies, example, atomic bomb, without questioning the moral implications. This shows that the scientific training alone does not guarantee ethical thinking. So this is the historical failures of scientists from the historical period, periods of uh, Nazi Germany and the global examples. Now, further, the problems with the scientific education. George Orwell critiques the current approach to scientific education, which emphasizes the learning learning more facts like physics formulas, chemical reactions. And he argues, he argues this focus, he says that, he argues saying that this focus narrows the people's thinking. This focus encourages arrogance about the other forms of knowledge like literature, history, philosopher, philosophy. This focus results in the politically and socially less intelligent citizens compared to those with the broader cultural knowledge. So these are the problems with the scientific education according to George Orwell. So what are the true purpose of scientific education? George Orwell suggests that the real goal of scientific education should be to provide, to teach people to think critically and rationally, to encourage skepticism and a questioning mindset to equip people with a method of approaching and solving problems logically rather than just memorizing the facts. Then further, he says this approach would definitely benefit society far more than simply increasing knowledge of biology, chemistry or physics. So this is the true purpose of scientific education according to George Orwell. Further, Further, he brings out the benefit, the need of balanced, the need of balanced cultural education. He emphasizes the importance of broad cultural education for both scientists and the general public. So, balanced cultural education, he says, from the point of view of scientists, scientists should study literature, history, and the arts to develop a more human and ethical perspective. For example, some British and American physicists, they refuse to work on the atomic bomb because of their understanding of its consequences. Orwell suggests these individuals likely had a broader cultural background. He says that scient scientists should have such kind of cultural background. Secondly, the public. The public should learn the scientific method as a way of thinking alongside a well-rounded education that includes history and the humanities. So this is the need for the balanced cultural education. And finally, we can find here the critic of scientist prestige. George Orwell observes that scientists enjoy high status in society, often viewed as more intelligent and capable men than others. And he critics, he criticizes this kind of perception he says that it fosters professional jealousy. It brings out professional jealousy among scientists who resist the idea that anyone with rational thinking can apply the scientific method. It also overemphasizes the role of exact sciences, sidelining the importance of critical thinking and the other forms of knowledge. Further, there's a call for balanced approach or balanced education. So George Orwell concludes, now the George Orwell is going to conclude the whole essay, what is science? He concludes by advocating for a balanced approach to education. There should be balanced, balanced approach to education. Scientific education is essential, but 
it should focus on teaching the method of scientific inquiry not just facts literature history and the arts should remain central to education to ensure people develop ethical rational and culturally aware perspectives he also suggests that scientists themselves need education in non scientific fields to make better ethical and societal decisions this is how he is going to bring up a he is going to bring up a, a very balanced approach to the scientific education or or to the education so finally what is the conclusion here hence according to george orwell science is not just science is is not just lab experiments or technical knowledge it's a method of thinking that involves logic evidence and skepticism for society to benefit from science education must emphasize critical thinking or fact accumulation science education must encourage a broad understanding of the world including history and the arts education must prepare both scientist and the public to approach problems rationally and ethically george orwell warns that focusing only on the exact sciences risk creativity risk creating a society of narrow minded individuals who lack the ability to think broadly or question authority so let's not limit the science with just the exact science it should be a broad minded it should create the broad minded individuals who should have the ability to think broadly who should have the ability to question the authority so friends this is how i have tried to simplify the important essay what is science by george orwell i hope you understood it thank you so much for watching this video click on the like button write in the comment box subscribe the channel if you have not yet done it just have a look in the description box you will get all the videos links or have a look at the playlist also thank you so much for watching this video stay in tune with mukesh english